To begin with, to try and trigger ideas for our short film, we came up with some ideas to try and encourage some inspiration. These were the what if scenario, which is where you would flip an everyday event on its head, just simply taking a walk on your own, going somewhere public and listening to people's random conversations, or reading local newspapers. Just from walking around North Walsham by myself and eavesdropping on certain people's conversations, I came up with numerous short film ideas. My favourite ideas from this method were a day in the life of a busker, all of the electricity in the world being erased, everybody forgets everything that they've ever known, and meeting an opposite sex version of yourself. From these ideas, my partner and I wanted to combine my ideas of the electricity being erased and everyone forgetting with his idea of a sci-fi alien or robot invasion. From this, we decided we would have someone who uses so much electricity in one night that he wakes up the next morning without any. We developed this idea into the basic idea for the outline of our short film, which is, there are two nerdy teenage brothers in a bedroom, using a lot of electricity, with an electromagnetic lock on the door. Then, a small alien organism flies through the window, creating a power surge, which causes the door and windows to lock and the boys to black out. When they wake up the next morning, it turns out the alien has inhabited one of the boys, causing arguments between the two, leading to a fateful ending for one of them. Originally, our idea was for the two boys to wake up without any recollection of what happened, realising they're locked in without any electricity. This was going to cause arguments between the two, and eventually the infected boy was going to reveal alien characteristics, for example, his eyes turning into bright lights. It was going to conclude with the two of them fighting, and the alien boy being stabbed to death by the other. However, our ideas evolved into something much more exciting and thrilling. Our final idea is that both of the boys witness the alien probe for a few seconds before it activates and creates the surge, knocking them both out. When they awake, they have different recalls of what happened the previous night. The alien infected boy claims there was a power cut, whereas the other states what really happened, which gives a clue to the audience that something isn't right. Furthermore, the pod is on the door, locking it. As they continue to disagree, the boy who's been inhabited keeps itching the back of his head where he has a little scar, eluding the audience to believe he's been infected. As the tension boils, we have decided to leave the ending open-ended, where the audience isn't quite sure what happens. To achieve this, the final scene will show the inhabited boy being taken over and going to attack his brother. Finally, apart from our lonely walks around North Walsham, we had also been inspired by the YouTube channel Every Frame of Painting, which helped us decide on some of the key turning points in our film and the composition of our shots.